Good evening. My name is Obindako. Good evening. I want to share briefly with you. Uh, connect with the right people. Connect with the right minds. Connect with the right people. With the right minds. Um, through the through the the few years that I've I've been around. Um, I, I think if there was anything that any of us could make uh, the right decision to make, um, to make, could make the right choice, will be uh, being able to connect with the, with the right minds, with the right minds on your on your journey to whatever that you're doing with your life. So if it's a business, if it's politics, whatever that you're doing, you chant, whatever that you're doing with your life, being able to connect with Right. I think it's it's it takes a lot of years to get to uh, meet people uh, who have a depth of mind, you know, the magnitude of mind, the sincerity of heart, you know, for you to connect with such people. Crucial. Most of us will meet uh, a lot of people, people we call friends, uh, <laughs> acquaintances that will, will you know in the in from school maybe you study together or a partner um, but what i have come to uh, uh to to see is that until you get to connect with the right people uh success especially uh if you have to do anything like business being able to get the right people to connect with is so crucial a lot of people are not <laughs> concerned that much. A lot of people are not. That much. A lot of people are shallow. But fisher, a, lo a lot of people are just self focused and selfish. A lot of people don't. This occurred to me uh, some years back when somebody was having a birthday party and uh, a birthday, and I happened to spend money on that person. But when my birthday came, <laughs> the person did not even remember that. <laughs> it was like, wow. <laughs> it just flashed my mind. So, yeah, but you were, you, you, I could remember yours. But So most people are not that deep. Most people don't even see that as a factor on the journey of life and, and, and for you to succeed with your dreams. You, you really have to connect with people who have this understanding of where you're going. They could be your age mates, they could be elderly, or they could be people who are younger than you. As I see it, if you if you want to connect and if you want to bring anybody that much close to you, because most people, what I've seen is that most people are that much, <laughs> they, 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 somebody was uh, debating with it, but I still think it's true that the only time that anybody will try to connect with you, call you, most people will call your phone. Not, not, not because that's the time that they found your phone number, but it's the time that they, they thought of something that they would need your help. That's why they call you. In the moment people don't, people think that you will not be able to help them, they don't call you. So uh, you look at your phone. <laughs> and see how many people will just connect with you and say that I'm just asking how you're doing your phone or, or whatsapp message or or whatever a lot of people will only connect with you when they really need help from you whether it's emotional support or they want to ask you a question or they want to, their, their money is with you they want to find out <laughs> when you are going to pay or maybe they need something that they know you are the one to solve it for them most people have conditioned themselves like that that the only time they connect with anybody is when they need help they really don't show much interest in 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 the well-being of another soul very i don't know so many people don't have that i don't know why it is like that that you you, you genuinely are not interested in somebody succeeding you genuinely a lot of people somebody, they won't do that because most people have not been told that if you don't focus on making other people great other people succeed your success rate will become that much frustrated and limited. Most people don't know that. Most people only know that. Let me take from you. It has to benefit. A lot of people don't know how to connect and to push somebody. 
So that's why very few people are able to succeed right from the ground to the app. A lot of people would have to cut corners because they don't know that this is a basic tool. Being able to connect with people who are genuinely, genuinely, genuinely committed to you and you being uh, genuinely committed to them succeeding without any strength. You are so happy to know that your friend and you will go even extra mile to even push them, to wake them up <laughs> and, 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 to, and to back them up, you know, in things that they, you think that they are struggling. Uh, in my life, I've not found many people like that. I've not found many people like that. You can have a lot of people around you, but very few people would have this kind of traits. Very few. It's very unfortunate, but, you know, I mean, that's how it is. <laughs> Just like that. So connect with the right people if you want to succeed as a business person. You have to do that, especially those who want to do big things, those who want to do great things, those who want to lift themselves beyond the family, beyond the narratives of the, of the town you come from, the, the village you come from, beyond the narrative of uh, your classmates or, or your community church or those who want to go beyond that. You really have to look for somebody who, somebody who, who of where you want to go is a critical factor critical, that you find somebody and it's it's a relationship that requires uh, some bit of a uh, uh, sacrifice and involve and maybe intention you have to be intentional about that as well what i've seen is that uh, most of us probably will just uh, maybe sometimes we cross court uh, cross borders and Sometimes you look through your network and you see that <laughs> and this network, <laughs> they don't care about you that much. Now that we've been at home for how many, how many, how many, how many days, maybe six days or seven, how many people generally have connected with you? Uh, how are you? How are you doing? How is your family? Uh, how's your dream? There is one thing that people will ask you, how are you doing? And there's another one that people will be so much interested in what you're becoming, what you're building, in your journey success. I don't know how many people will connect with you on that. Is there anything that I can do for you to push you to the next stage? Uh, uh, that. But you, it's, a, it's an element that you have got to uh, build. You have to have somebody who you can connect with, who you can feed. You know, they can feed on you, you can feed on them. And you can know that this, this relationship is that genuine, is that, is that plain. There's no, you know, uh, like that. There's nothing. Uh, beneath it. Uh, you need that. And if it's going to take you a lot of failures to get there, you have to get there. The only thing is that uh, there are some few things that you may have to look for if you're looking for something like that, especially those of us who uh, say that we want to build business. <laughs> if it comes to going to drink and watch football or going to the Omutu joint, you drink beer, you know, the, you can go and chase girls, you know, <laughs> things like that. But those are shallow. I'm talking of people who will be so much genuinely interested in the things that you are interested in, and, and, and especially if it has to do with dream and building and lifting yourself beyond the average, people who can push you. At this time, you need that. In this very time, you need somebody in your network who is like that. And sometimes, unfortunately, you can, he can be <laughs> 40 years and you look back and you may not find that. You may not find that because a lot of people would desert you, you um, if they find out that you don't agree with them, or if they find out that you are you are you are pushing yourself, you're becoming successful at something. Most friends will leave you. Sadly to say, most family people will even leave you. You know, um, they will leave you to struggle. Uh, they will leave you to suffer, and a lot of people just go down flat. <laughs> If you don't believe what I'm saying, when there is a good news, they don't call you. But let them hear there is a bad news, they will find out. <laughs> As if it's a concern, it's not a concern. It's just some somebody who's trying, who fight as to why you should be uh, going forward, and they uh, are not. So it's a, it's a, I think it's an animalistic. I think it's not. It's not good. You should. You, so. Um, <laughs> these are some of the things that you have got to look at look at the, the amplitude of their mind because most people most people 
exhibit uh, basic uh, uh, human instinct, which is which is when they are not developed, they, which is selfishness, which is which it has to be mean, it can be you kind of approach. Now, when you when the person is stepped, when the person is deep, when they are developing themselves, when they are themselves, you no, know, anybody who is living for a purpose, anybody who has found something great that they have committed their life to, usually they don't bring you. They know that they don't have to be the only ones succeeding. They readily share with you. They don't keep things from you. The other day, somebody called me that I found a book that you wrote, I'm very inspired, and I want to thank you. I said, okay, that's, so you talk for a while, and um, I asked him, maybe you can tell other people about the book. He said, ah, you want me to tell them about the book? They, <laughs> I don't want them to know the book. <laughs> I'm like, no, then that's, that's not it. You have, to, you have to grow beyond that. You know, you cannot see something and keep it to yourself. Keep it. If it will, be, if if it has benefited you, you have to share it with somebody. And so you are looking for somebody, a mind like that, a soul like that, somebody who is ready to share. They find out anything, anything inspires them. You are the first person that they will call. If it's your friend, if it's somebody that you are in that close uh, proximity with, you know, I'm talking of somebody. You can it can be one friend, one or two or three or five people who are going maybe they may be building business they may be in another thing but you can say that this is a brother this is really somebody you can count on if they are glad that you are doing something they will go the extra mile to call you to give you they don't care how many times that you fail they will still call on you and they will still back you up you know and they don't care how many times i disappoint them they still they still have your interest at heart and your success is not a threat to them such people you need at one in your life if you're an entrepreneur if you want to build something, if you want to build business, you need somebody like that in your life. And it's that critical that you, you, you consciously develop a relationship like that. Most people don't have that. That's what I've come to see. Most people don't have that. It's very unfortunate, but most people are just superficial. They are just friend, friend, friend. But if it has to do with something that will left you, they will, they will back up. They will disappoint you. You'll be shocked. They will run away. They will act. It doesn't matter how many times you may have even helped them. It's bitter. That's why they, some people say that, you know, my friend became a, a big position and he doesn't mind me. Because he didn't develop himself. He's that he's in race with you. So once he's there, now he can prove, now he has to show, the, he has to draw the line. You know, so your friend is a big boss now. The friend that you, were, you, you used to eat together, now he doesn't even want to see you. And meanwhile, you have not even done him wrong. You, have, you, you, you are just somebody who is just trying to, you know, to also achieve your dream. But they will catch you because they didn't develop themselves that much. They didn't develop the quality like that. And a lot of people, a lot of people, uh, for me, are like that. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. The only time that you see them call you is when they need help. Any time that you see them, they will never genuinely call you to see how are you doing, how are things ahead of this story that you have. Of that. We are proud of you. Most people will never do that. Most people will never do that. Because if not, develop their quality. And yet, I'm saying that if you want to go forward, if you want to achieve whatever that you want to do with your life, if you want to build a big career, big business, big politics, whatever that you want to do, you will need people interested in, in helping you to having fun not just going <laughs> not just going to church with you you know not just going for the party no that's not what i mean not just calling you to crack jokes no what i mean is somebody who will be so much committed to you succeeding there are very few there are very few and there are there are, are people who have really discovered themselves they're very comfortable they're not in competition they stretch their mind they are they are selfless i remember, i have a friend he's a grown-up but he will call Anything that you want me to do, and it's, there are people that when you succeed, you want. There are a lot of friends that when you have anything significant, why? Because you know that they will not be happy. You can't tell them. There are a lot of people like that. If you have a friend who, when something is poor, they want to hide it from you, you don't need him as a friend. Not in this particular case, but it means that he doesn't have that quality. And a lot of people, I dare say, 
don't have that they are just superficial <laughs> you meet they smile you crack jokes <laughs> but they will never commit or sacrifice anything to make you become anything and when you are succeeding they are not there are people they are the people who somebody so much respects you but when they go to meet them the person loses respect for you and you wonder what what is it that they talk about you with with those people i have people like that i've had a lot of people like that in my life where somebody so much revere you but when they go to meet them that person respects you no more you go to meet them they discuss all your bad decisions all your weaknesses all your wickedness <laughs> as a friend as a as a human being and when the person even talks about the, the good things that you have done for them, they will try to trivialize them. There are a lot of people like that. And my assessment is that these people are very weak people. And if you build a relationship with them, I can tell you, it's good. Keep them around. But when in critical moments of your life, you can count on them. Because they were never there for you in the first place. Um, <laughs> so that's one of the things that you, 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 for you... So for you to have somebody like that, you need somebody who really live in another realm they live in a superior realm they live with the best of minds dead or alive you know those are the people who are challenging their mind. when you meet you're talking about things that are deep not <laughs> this one bought a cow this one bought a house this one wife got uh, pregnant those kind of things no these are people you are talking about deep 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 ideas when they find when they get revelation they are they, are, they want to what's up you they want to send you a message. I, I'm reading this article. I think that is is interesting. You can look at it. You know, and those are a lot of things that will break, you know, break clarity. When they have wisdom, they want to share it with you. Those are the kind of people that I think you should need, even if it's one. You will need that on your journey. Don't get that. Forget it. You live in a very you live a painful when you don't have some in your life, and most people don't have that. So they all, yeah, it is my friend, it's my friend, but there's not depth in that kind of relationship. And for me, if you look at great minds, great business people, they have that. There's somebody always in their life that they, they are proud to share the deal with, and they are not scared that that person will run away. They, because they know that that person will not run away that idea. Uh, <laughs> some people say that uh, I share the idea with them and they run away with it. Because that person was not prepared for that sharing. So the deep things that you share with anybody should be people who you have grown with. You, you have that kind of relationship with. You know, you don't just say it's my friend. It's somebody who has recovered. You know, they are in, they are so much happy going forward. You know, so when they buy a book, they want to call you and say, I've bought this book. I, I think you should you should buy it as well. Or I will send you a copy. Uh, when they have an instrument that will that, that will make them more money, they will call you and say, let's say, I've, I've seen this and I think that you, it will help you. There are people that you can virtually count on, depend on, you can go to sleep. That kind of people you need. Not only with your wife, no. I'm talking about, you know, if you're a woman, somebody you call a friend who can cover you like that, especially if you're building business. And if they're also business people, it's the best. You know, it's the best because then you go to do the journey knowing that you have somebody that you can lean on, you can hold on, you can share. And you need to build that kind of top, top level, high level uh, 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 minds. You need that. So yeah, they are not people who are. <laughs> so for instance, say I, I watch social media. I, 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 some, a lot of people make statements like, you know, you don't always have, there are a lot of people that have discovered, key people that have discovered just through social media, you know, and, uh, and we click in mind i study them i follow them i follow what is they are top people they are not basic they don't waste time on jealousy they don't waste time on you buying a car and they are sad no they push you you are at hundred thousand and they are pushing you to a million you are at a million they push you to 10 million you are 10 million they push you to 100 million you know and they are always happy and there are people that you can always say listen this is great and i want you to look at it for me do what they say are not there yet it's very unfortunate but they are not there and that's a fact that's a fact and that's why it makes a lot of people trying to succeed that difficult that difficult especially people we call mentors 
there are a lot of them that you go you can you can glean in much because they don't have that purity of heart to raise somebody <laughs> to raise somebody so magnitude of body whose mind is that stretch and develop and need that sincerity of heart somebody who is that sincere ethical you know connect with great minds connect with great people build that you need that as a requirement to build in your dream to build in your business you need that you need somebody like that who is that they know you you know them and you call a friend and uh, a lot of the people that we used to call friends in secondary school in primary school in the university in the church listen a lot of them when they see you do well they are not happy it's not because they are bad people but it's because they didn't develop themselves to handle this <laughs> he didn't develop themselves to handle that. I used to have a friend who, when he was even, he was building a house and he was hiding it. I'm like, wow, hide it. You think a house is anything to me? No. So what do you take me for? You think that I'm just but, that but basic and 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 that low for me to see somebody build a house and and I'm not happy? What is a house? You know. But a lot of people think like that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, somebody showed me his house. And he was trying to screw me, and he said that when I even show you my house, you were not happy. Like, ah, this classroom house? No, and my life is way beyond material things, whether it's car, house, those things. No, I'm more interested and, and, and impressed with people who have discovered themselves and who are committed to doing something significant with their lives, something that will change the lives of many people. Those are the people that I'm interested in. Those are the people that I'm inspired with. People who indulge themselves, indulge themselves in knowledge, in changing destinies, in changing this, uh, you know, for the betterment of our, of our community, of our, of our country, of our world. Those are the people I'm interested in. Not the people who are so much basic. <laughs> and the basic people, <laughs> they are the ones who feel uh, somebody is uh, uh, jealous of them because they, they got a promotion. At work, I mean, very much in, uh, amazed when they have just moved you from one to another organization. Then somebody is uh, uh, jealous of you, so you don't want to even hide it. Some people, when they even increase their salary, they don't want to hide it. Some people, your good friend, you go to the office, they tell you they are not there. Those are basic people. You don't need committed friends. You want to do something significant, you don't need people like that. It's better to, to have relationships with such minds because you never go anywhere. Any time that you spend with them is waste. You know why? Because they don't bring anything that will help you to grow. You know, they will call you and they call you for one hour, but they will never tell you anything that will make you strong, that will make you go to the next stage. No, <laughs> they crack jokes. <laughs> they talk about unnecessary things. You know, but as an entrepreneur, as somebody who is building business, you need that. You need that. You need somebody who is that much uh, way beyond trivialities and selfishness way beyond that somebody who is that open-hearted to commit to building somebody up you need that you need that quality you need that kind of people this friend of mine what <laughs> you call him you will say meet me here it's amazing and it's because he stretched himself he's developed himself he's very comfortable in who he is and yet there are other ones uh, they are never happy. <laughs> when they hear bad things, they want to call you quick. Not because they want to console with you, it's because that's the, that's what they feed on. So a lot of people feed on negativity. You know, that's why the media has really conditioned people. Negative. Look at the virus. Look at how the media is, you know, just the negative, just the negative, just, the ne just to make money. So they promote the negatives, not the positive. And a lot of people have been conditioned. It takes another strength it takes another reprogramming it takes another form of information for somebody to be that positive and optimistic and that much seriously selfishly interested in another person becoming successful it takes another development another kind of personality for you to meet anybody who will be so much interested in you uh doing well and be ready to do anything to help him to succeed and my experience is that most people are not like that. It doesn't matter whether it's JSS or primary school or university or in church or in the workplace. 
a lot of people are just basic because they don't develop themselves, you know. And yet, if you're going to do anything significant, you need somebody like that. That's why so go uh, for people who are people who are kind-hearted, people who are genuinely interested in stretching themselves, you know, ethical people. Such people, if you find any, and you connect with them, it's friendship for life. It's friendship for life. And you are going there not to take advantage of them, but to also to contribute. You know, so when, if you go if you go to any successful person, you're not going there because of what you will get. You go there because of what you can also contribute. And for me, that way you don't pretend. You're very much at peace with yourself because you're not going there to just grab for yourself. People who are very much hyper hyperactive, you know, and they are, they are just trying to push everybody away just to get and to be noticed, is because they are only thinking of themselves. If you're thinking of the others and you are thinking of what you can bring on board, you, you can stand somewhere and let them push, push, push. It's because you know who you are. You're strong. You're stable. You know that you can push it, and you know that what you have, what you have, and what you have developed yourself. Everybody, because what you have invested in yourself, nobody else can take it. <laughs> you know, so be interested in that. And I'm very much genuinely interested uh, 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 in connecting with people like that. You know, I'm very much interested in connecting with people like that. People who are sincerely genuinely are they well and be ready to sacrifice and work uh, towards that. I'm not interested in a lot of these uh, <laughs> people <laughs> who, even sometimes Facebook posting self, people just posting something, some people will just fight. I don't know. Why should you just say yours? Where the I have some classmates who Christian. They say they are Christian. Just because you disagree with their philosophy, they don't want to even talk to you. It's amazing. Why? I don't agree with what you're saying. Should I make me an enemy? I don't just agree. I think that I can look at it from a different point. <laughs> they will get offended. They will flip. And those are all traces of people who are, who are interested. They are not interested in you becoming a so, uh, If anybody just easily disagrees with you and cuts you for nothing, you don't need them. You need people, uh, general people who are interested in you. Even if when you fail, you're on the ground, they will still look for you. <laughs> and for me, those are the people that you need. If you, if you really want to go so much. So, Connect with the great people, connect with great mind, connect with people who will be so much interested in what you're becoming and will sacrifice. It doesn't matter whether it's money or connections, they will take their card. You don't have to prove yourself to them. They'll go there extra to make sure that what you're doing succeeds. There are a lot of people who like fish them up, and there are people who are driven because they are driven by. Uh, uh, by our common well-being than uh, uh, I alone succeeding. A lot of people just want to succeed alone. They don't want the success to be all of us. Many people just want to be the one with the car, not all of us with the car, or the one with the house, not all of us with the house, or the one with business, not all of us with business. A lot of people like that. They just... <laughs> they just I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in everybody anybody shares that kind of thinking, I'm interested in that kind of thing. So, you know, so this, these are some of the things that uh, I think you should look, look at for if you're looking for some to connect with any great minds, you know, and the world is now uh, virtual, you know, a lot of these guys are on, the so, uh, on social media, in their books, in their YouTube page, uh, channels, there are so many areas. There are, there are a lot of them have their own block. Look for ambitious people. Look for fellow entrepreneurs. Look for no matter where they are, if they're really interested. And they, they are not trivial. They, and the other thing is that some people are so much tribal, and that amazes me as well. They'll connect you to only their tribe people, or or they are so racial. So they look at uh, if you're white. Look for common humanity. Look for growth. Look for maturity. Look for people who stand for these philosophies, who have developed themselves like that, you know. And if you get there, <laughs> than any other, because there's a there's a common ground which is at the heart to achieve your, yourself. So thank you very much uh, for watching. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ovidaku. Thank you.